Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna discuss the history of literature written for children and the contribution of Newbery. Children's literature is literature that is enjoyed by children. More specifically, children's literature comprises those books written and published for young people who are not yet interested in adult literature or who may not possess the reading skills or developmental understanding necessary for its perusal. In addition to books, children's literature also includes magazines intended for pre-adult audiences. Between that literature, most appropriate for children and most appropriate for adults lies young adult literature. Usually, Young adult literature is more mature in content and more complex in literary structure than children's literature. Most of the literary genres of adults' literature appear in children's literature as well. Fiction in its various forms, contemporary realism, fantasy and historical fiction, poetry, folk tales, legends, myths, and epics. All have their counterparts in children's literature. Nonfiction for children includes books about the arts and humanities, the social, physical, biological, and earth science, and biography and autobiography. In addition, children's books may take the form of picture books in which visual and verbal texts from an interconnected whole. Picture books for children include story books, alphabet books, counting books, world blessed books, and concept books. Literature written specifically for an audience of children began to be published on a wide scale in the 17th century. Most of the early books for children were didactic rather than artistic meant to teach letter sound and words to improve the child's moral and spiritual life. In the mid-1700s, however, British publisher John Newbery, 1713-1767. British publisher John Newbery, influenced by John Locke's ideas that children should enjoy reading. Since that time, there has been a gradual transition from the deliberate use of purely didactic literature to inculcate moral, spiritual, and ethical values in the children to the provision of literature to entertain and inform. This does not imply that suitable literature for children is either moral or amoral. On the contrary, suitable literature for today's children is influenced by the cultural and ethical values of its authors. These values are frequently revealed as the literary work unfolds, but they are means to be an end, not an end in themselves. Authors assume a degree of intelligence on the part of their audience that was not assumed in the past. In this respect, Children's literature has changed dramatically since its earliest days. And that's all. Thank you and goodbye.